Hey guys, I'm back. Hi honey, how was school? The math teacher had another mental breakdown. Wow, math in high school sounds really hard. You think decimals are hard. I don't get them. They're like, not even numbers. Anyway, are you able to come home Wednesday evening after 7? Yeah, sure. Great, thanks honey. <sighs> We're almost 10. We don't need to be left alone. You're not old enough, Carrie. What would you do if there was a fire? Stop, drop, and roll? Knowing you, you'd roll into the fire. How come you guys are going out Wednesday? Oh, it's me and Kevin's 12-year anniversary. Oh, right. Has it really been that long since you guys got married? Yep, that's right. So where will you be going, Mommy? Well, Calvin hasn't told me yet, but I'm sure it'll be exciting. He hasn't told you yet? No, but I'm sure he'll have something special planned. Are you sure? This is Calvin we're talking about. Of course! He's probably keeping it a surprise. Hey, Calvin! Hey, honey. It's been an exhausting day. Well, aren't you excited for what's coming up? I told you before, Linda, I don't want to watch Love Island. Okay, do you need anything? Thanks, a beer would be great. Yeah, he seems ecstatic. Yeah, my mom seems really excited. Calvin doesn't seem to care all that much. I still can't believe I wasn't invited to their wedding! After you started a food fight at my sixth birthday party, they didn't want to take any chances. Well, come on! That was awesome! Honestly, though, your, your mom, mom could do way, way better than Officer Mitch. Yeah, she's, she's really alive. alive. Thanks, but I don't think you're exactly the kind of guy on her radar. Thanks, man. At least someone was my back. Hey guys, what are we talking about? It's Carl's mom and Officer Mitchell's anniversary. Oh, that's awesome. How long have they been married? Twelve years, actually. Why would anyone stay with Officer Mitchell for that long? I don't know. Maybe his paychecks are pretty good. Or maybe it's because the copy informant's pretty hot. Did... Did I just say that out loud? So, uh, have they got anything planned for their anniversary? My mom thinks Calvin's got something really big planned for them. Oh, poor Linda. Yeah, that almost sounds as bad as taking your girlfriend to Chuck E. Cheese for the first date. Hey, you said you enjoyed it! She might have if she was seven. Sadly, I think Blooper's right. Calvin doesn't exactly strike me as a romantic type. He was when they first started going out, though. Officer Mitchell was... romantic? That's like trying to imagine Amy Schumer being funny. Yeah, man. It got kind of annoying, to be honest. Aw, <laughs> oh, Linda. That was such a wonderful evening. It really was, Calvin. I didn't even know you were allowed to take the cars out in your own free time. Yeah, if you ever come to the station, maybe don't mention that to anyone. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the flowers, anyway. They're lovely. No problem, babe. You deserve them. This whole year, I've been the happiest I've been in a long time, and it's all thanks to you. Aw, that's so sweet! Thank you! You're welcome, honey. Mind if I stay over tonight? What about Logan? Isn't he gonna wonder where you are? Don't worry, he's staying with his grandma. Must be a nice break from that little apartment in the police station. Trust me, I'm not going to be living there forever. You know that nice house you said you wanted towards the east side of town? Oh my god, you bought it? No, but I know a guy renting a similar house nearby. If we save up just enough money, it could be ours. Aw, oh, Calvin, you're the best. It's no problem, Linda. You've had an unfair time having to raise that boy in the city all by yourself. Yeah, it was rough. I moved to Toad Town to get away from all that. I knew this one guy who threatened to stab his girlfriend for farting on him. Well, forget about that now. A girl like you deserves so much better, Linda. Aw, oh, you're too kind. Anyway, wanna come to my room with me? I'll be right there. <sighs> Mom, what's going on here? It's okay, honey. Sergeant Mitchell and I just got back. 
What have I told you about being up at this time, young man? Didn't you just use a cop car to go out on a date? Um, uh, that's irrelevant. Wow, I had no idea he used to be like that. Yeah, I guess that's why Linda likes him so much. I don't know, maybe he still has it in him? Yeah, and imagine dragons are still capable of making good music. Yo, we talking about Carl's mom? How long have you been listening? Hey, I'm just doing my job. I never knew you could make eavesdropping into an actual occupation. Some people did. They call themselves the paparazzi. So what's up with your mom, Carl? She's single yet? She's been married to Calvin for 12 years now. Ah, so it's nearing an end, huh? Come on, I'm just making conversation. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. Get back to work. Ugh, fine. You should really keep him in a cage or something. Mommy, when's Daddy getting back? Yeah, I want to tell him about that story at school today. It wasn't a story. That was Mushroom World War II. Calvin's just out right now, sweetie. He'll be back later this evening. Great, the one day I'll go to work and he can't even be here to thank me. Where do you even work, anyway? One of Kenny's friends gave me a job at that Royal Dragon Bar. Apparently there was this really big fight there at New Year's Eve! Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. Still, Dad better be happy now. He's been going on at me to get our job for months! Don't worry, Logan. I have a feeling he's planning something big. What, like a party? Seems odd to have one on a Monday night. No, you idiot! He'll be planning their anniversary thing! Of course! I just wonder what he's got in store. I'm not saying he has, but what are you gonna do if he's forgotten? What? Oh no, he won't forget. I'm just sure he's planning something big. I know, but don't you think you should check with him just in case he hasn't? Carl makes a good point, actually. What if he did forget? Yeah, sometimes Dad forgets his keys and he needs me to bring them to him. No way! You kids have got it all wrong. Calvin wouldn't forget something like this. Again, I'm sure he hasn't, but don't you think it wouldn't hurt to remind him? I suppose. I just wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. Ooh, it's Calvin! I'll be right back, kids. Man, poor mommy. Yeah, I really hope daddy hasn't forgotten. Yeah, she really wants to be surprised, it seems. Technically, if he did nothing, it'd be a surprise. Hey, Calvin, how's your day going? Sorry, honey, I can't talk for too long. I got a lot of paperwork to do. Paperwork? You're still at the station? Afraid so, Linda. I'm not gonna finish till 9.30. 9.30?! Yeah, sorry, honey. We rounded up some goons with fire flowers today. Those things have destroyed so many people's lives, I don't know what these kids are thinking. Hey, Officer Mitchell? I got that beer you wanted. Yeah, leave it by the door, thanks, Tommy. Oh, well, you haven't forgotten, have you? Forgotten? About what, babe? <sighs> Nothing. It doesn't matter. Alright, babe. Kids okay? Yeah, they're fine, I guess. Logan got a job. Well, it's about time. Hopefully soon he'll stop making those god-awful rap songs. Officer Mitchell, the pizza's here! Hey, I gotta go. Love you, babe. See you when I get in. <laughs> hey, Mom. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine, honey. Yeah, she seems really upset. I told you she should be with me instead. I just feel really bad for Mom. Meh, what can you do? You can't just let this happen, she'll get all upset. And you don't want to be around her when she's in a bad mood. Oh really? What's, What's that like? It's terrible. Once I may complained about having to do my laundry, she didn't talk to me for two days. Wow, my dad never forces me to do my laundry. <laughs> Whatever, at least I don't live in my own toilet. Guys, your arguing isn't gonna help me. The hell are we supposed to do to help? Hey guys, what's up? Not much, we're just having some trouble with Carl's mom. Oh, is this about this whole anniversary thing? Yeah, that's right. Ouch. He's gonna have cold dinners for a while. There's gotta be something we can do. I don't see why it's a big deal, to be honest. Yeah, my parents hate each other. I doubt Kevin and Linda will end up that bad. 
I know. I just feel really bad for Mom. Maybe, Maybe you should, should just, just remind, remind Calvin yourself. yourself. I can't. Mom's always around when he is. Yeah, why don't we go down to the police station and tell him? Sure we can. My mom calls my dad at work all the time. I think police work is a little different to painting houses, boo. He also fixes refrigerators. Yeah, criminals and household appliances. Those are the same. He's got a point, though. There's really nothing else we can do other than go down to the station. You could text him, maybe. Nah, he has his phone on silent all day. Fine, we'll see if he's at the station tomorrow after school, and tell him Mom thinks he's planning something big for their anniversary. Meh, yeah, I'm used to it. Back in 2007, they caught me smoking fire flowers with Chris Brown. In 2007, you'd have been, like, five. Okay, maybe not exactly that year, but it happened! Yeah, and I'm sure that skiing trip with the weekend also happened. It did! Man, you guys are always trying to discredit me. <laughs> Officer Mitchell, we gotta talk. <coughs> what the hell? How did you guys get in here? Ugh, damn it, Tommy! Sorry, boss. Hey, hey man, cool tattoos. tattoos. Hey, no talking to the people in custody. Oh, oh why? They, they haven't, haven't done anything. I'm sorry, but you guys have gotta leave. But Officer Mitchell, it's important. Can you not hear me? I've got important paperwork to do. Plus, I gotta deal with these delinquents. But it's about Mom. You're gonna have to tell me later, Carl. We don't have later. Your anniversary is tomorrow. What? Damn it, man, you got coffee all over me. Yeah, she thinks you're planning something big. It's tomorrow? Of course it's tomorrow, man. February 19th? Aw, oh, crap, it is tomorrow. Why the hell didn't you tell me? I mentioned it to you last week. You told me to go away and let you watch the game. That's what you were talking about? I thought you were talking about some school assignment. When have I ever discussed school assignments with you? Ugh, <sighs> this is terrible. The hell am I supposed to do? Are you serious? It's tomorrow. First, what am I supposed to do about Carrie and Sally? Why would they be coming to your anniversary? Stay out of this, ghost. This doesn't concern you. Don't worry. Me and Logan will sort out Carrie and Sally. You think I'd let one of you two babysit after last time? <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll try find a babysitter. You just try find a nice restaurant or something. How the hell am I supposed to make a dinner reservation at such short notice? You, you could, could just, just not forget, forget your anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> yeah, he looks angrier than Sam L. Jackson when that guy thought he was Lawrence Fishburne. Hey, honey. You ready to go out for dinner? <gasps> Calvin, you remembered! Of course I did, honey. I'd never forget our 11th wedding anniversary. 11th? Never mind that. Let's get going. Hope you're excited, babe. Um... Don't you want to change into something other than your police uniform? Sorry, I just got off work. Didn't have any time to change. Oh, that's alright then, I guess. Well, here we are. Is... is this it? Yep, who doesn't love fast food? Wanna sit down? Sure, I guess. What'll it be, sir? Yeah, I'll take a Grand Goomba meal with a large fries, a large chocolate milkshake, and a chocolate muffin, please. Alright, that'll be 2136, please. Are you serious? That's way too much. Who do you think I am, Bill Gates? I don't make the prices, sir. Right, fine. <sighs> oh, sorry, honey. Did you want to order first? Here we go. This is a nice place to sit. Yeah, it's right by the trash. Yeah, that'll make it hell of a lot easier after I've eaten. So, how was your day? Alright, I guess. Just helped out at the elementary school, then did some work around the house. Oh, you got a new job? I've been working there for over a year now. Oh, uh, nice. I gotta say, it's better than when you went to high school. I swear, that principal rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, I guess so. Damn it! what the hell? Waiter! Hey, what's up? I asked for a chocolate milkshake. This damn thing is strawberry. Sorry, man. There wasn't any chocolate left in the machine. And you're telling me this now, after I've already paid? What would you have done if I'd have been allergic to strawberries? You want a vanilla milkshake or something? No, I want a chocolate one! Calvin, just drink your milkshake. Sorry for the trouble, sir. That's cool. I get this crap all the time. Man, that guy was so rude. 
I swear, kids have no manners these days. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go. What? Why? You clearly didn't put any thought into this, Calvin. What? Of course I did. I bought your meal and everything. This was supposed to be special. I thought you were gonna take me somewhere amazing. Not somewhere where we pick up meals for the kids every other weekend. Look, I'm sorry, Linda, but I don't get what the big deal is. It's just our 12th anniversary. It's not like it's the 20th or the 50th. Oh, so that makes it not important to you? Hey, I didn't mean it like that. I'm going home. Enjoy the rest of your night. <sighs> Loser! Your wife hates you! <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me, Calvin! Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Come on, babe, you know I didn't mean it. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, we were trying to watch Terminator 2! I mean, Teletubbies! <sighs> it's your mother. I may have upset her a little. Did you forget to put the toilet seat up again? No, it's about our anniversary dinner. Oh yeah? How'd that go? Not good. I took her to Goomburger. You took her to Goomburger?! Hey, you took that Lori chick to Goomburger! Yeah, for a first date, not an anniversary dinner, you moron. Aw, oh, crap. What have I done? Don't worry, Daddy. You can just apologize. I tried, but she won't talk to me. I doubt she's that mad. She made me sit in the back seat on the way home. That bad, huh? Yeah, she wants me to sleep on the sofa. I don't know what to do. You could start by sleeping on the sofa. I have had it up to here with you! Are you and Mommy gonna be okay, Daddy? I hope you don't get a diverse. It's called a divorce, Sally. Yeah, divorce is what Hollywood's trying to be. I'm sorry, kids. I'm sure your mother and I will be alright. She just needs to forgive me. I better call the window company tomorrow. And that's why number three pencils are now banned from the school. Hey, what happened to Miss Bishop? Hey, I was talking, asshole! Now that you mention it, I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, she left the school. Got a job over at the Cactus Kingdom. So, she's moved there, permanently. Lucky way to escape, I guess. Well, that's the last scene of her. She's not coming back. Ever. So, Carl, how did Officer Mitchell and Linda's anniversary dinner go? It was a bigger disaster than an episode of Hell's Kitchen. Why? What happened? It's Officer Mitchell. What do you expect? Oh, you have no idea. For starters, he took her to Goomburger. Goomburger? On their anniversary? That's like getting married at Domino's Pizza. Yeah, and he apparently complained about getting the wrong flavor milkshake. Man, poor Linda. In his defense, he did forget until the day before the meal. You'd really be an awful defense attorney. Fair point. Still, I hope Linda's okay. She deserves better. Yeah, she seemed really upset. I'd be upset too if my asshole husband took me to a fast food restaurant after I put up with him for 12 whole years. Yo, so, uh, is Carl's mom single now? Damn it, can you guys stop trying to hook up with my mom? Look, I know this guy's chief of police and all, but I got a foosball table in my room. She's married, Coach Johnson. You say that now, but she changed her tone once she saw my Lego Star Wars minifigures. She's not interested. Piss off. Fine, fine. So, who wants to come to a party at my place on Saturday? You're making it worse for yourself. My mom says she won't mind, so long as we keep the noise down a little bit. Huh? Calvin? Hey Felix, got any beer? Um, do come in? Uh, Calvin? No offense, but why are you in my house? Don't you have work? Meh, nah, send me home. I thought you were the chief. Fine, I sent myself home. The pussies couldn't handle me yelling at them. Ah, I see. What's wrong? Meh, it's complicated. Did the Tyranitars lose the game again? No, it's about Linda. Linda? Are you guys alright? Not the best. They may have screwed up our anniversary. What? Did you forget the date or something? It's how it started. It's a long story. Could I get a drink while I'm here? Um, didn't you come in the car? Relax, I'm only gonna have one. Well, I guess if you're not on duty. Then I yelled at the waiter for giving me the wrong milkshake. 
Yeah, that's happened to me before too. That machine's had more breakdowns than Kanye West in an award show. And I may have told her it wasn't that special. Ouch. That's pretty bad, man. Yeah, you think I don't know that? I feel like I've really messed up, man. Don't worry, Calvin. I'm sure she'll forgive you. I don't know, man. She was really looking forward to it, and I just screwed it all up. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should try to make it up to her? I can't! There's never gonna be another 12th anniversary! True, but you can always do something better for your 13th anniversary. From the way this is going, there might not even be a 13th anniversary. Right, sorry. I just don't know what to do. Wish I had more time so I could plan something better. Maybe you just need to show her that you're truly sorry. What, like buy her chocolates or something? I think it's gonna take a little more than chocolate. Right. I could buy champagne. <sighs> Let me help you. What do you have in mind? Don't worry, just leave it to me. Guys, where's Linda? Oh, she's out. Ugh, goddammit! Yeah, I was disappointed too. Well, after what happened with our anniversary, I decided to plan another dinner. Any excuse to go to Goomburger again, huh? Aren't you the guy who took your girlfriend to Chuck E. Cheese? She said she enjoyed it! Anyway, this isn't gonna be like the last one. This is actually more of an apology for my behavior that night. Yeah, what do you do with the real officer, Mitchell? This isn't time for jokes. I just need your help. Felix has got us a restaurant. I just need you to help set up the place, make it all romantic and stuff. I don't know what you expect us to come up with. We're not exactly wedding planners. Are you in or what? What's, What's in it for us? us? You guys expect a reward? If you want our help, then yeah. Fine. I'll buy you guys one four-pack of beer, but you're not to tell anyone about it. You got a deal. Good. Alright, here's what I need you guys to do. Well, things seem to be going smoothly here. Thanks to your friend for letting us use this place, Felix. No problem, man. You said we're fine to use it so long as we clean up all the mess. I don't get it, man. Why couldn't we just use one of the restaurants your dad owns? Ah, it's unavailable tonight. He's hosting a dinner for the 2020 freshman rappers there. Oh, I see. That makes sense, then. Uh, Bones Reservation? That doesn't sound like a restaurant to me. Hey, so what time are they getting here? Will you put that bowl down? Those are for me and Linda. Well, Linda's not here yet, is she? We said Carl and Grace would go get her half an hour ago. They better not be wasting time. Calm down, Calvin. You're stressing out too much. She'll be here, trust me. Hey, someone run me through the plan again. Oh, is that the plan? I wasn't listening, sorry. Linda's gonna think that she's dropping Carl and Grace off here for a date or something, but then Carl's gonna accidentally leave his wallet in the car. Whoa, man, how do you know he's gonna do that? How dense actually are you? Then, when she comes in, we'll all surprise her. Hmm, I think I get it. Can you explain it to me again? How about you guys just get yourself some drinks? Can you do that? Of course we can! I used to be a waiter at my dad's casino. Make up stories later, skeleton. Fine, let's go, guys. Hey, make sure you get the right flavor. Don't want to get yourselves yelled at. Can you do something helpful for a change? The piranha planted more than you do. Hey, I set the table, didn't I? Are you sure she's gonna want to do this, Carl? She seems pretty upset from what you've told me. Don't worry about that, Grace. Trust me, she'll love what Calvin and your dad have planned. You said I'd love Kingsman too when we went to go see that. How was I supposed to know they were gonna kill off JB? Whatever, the first movie's a million times better anyway. Hey kids, you ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. Are you alright, Linda? Yeah, I guess. So where's this restaurant? Oh, it's just in the town center, near the school. Near the school? Why do you need me to drive you then? Um... I get scared of the dark! You do? Yeah, totally. Sometimes I bring a torch to school with me when it gets dark. Right. Well, guess we better get going then. Damn, that was good. You're welcome. Man, I hope Carl and Grace won't be too long now. I'm really nervous. 
Don't worry, Calvin. When Linda sees what you've done for her, she'll be amazed. I sure hope so. I'll be right back. I gotta pee. Where's the bathroom? Upstairs to your right. Don't be too long, though. They could show up any minute. Ugh. The hell's keeping Carl and Grace, anyway? You're taking forever! Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see, see Linda, Linda already. Well, maybe she should think about someone else for a change. I've almost finished my drink. Fine then, asshole. Oops. Uh, guys? What's, What's up, up, man? There may be a fire in the building. Ah! There's a fire! Everyone outside, now! Why do I smell smoke? How long have we got to go, guys? Just a few more miles, Mom. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh dear. Looks like there's a fire over there. Oh my god! I hope everyone there is okay. Yeah, that looks pretty close to the restaurant, actually. Yeah, you're right. It kinda looks like the restaurant, too. Wait a minute. Marvin! Guys! Oh yeah, no one asked if I'm okay. Are you alright, Logan? Yeah, fine thanks, Linda. Thank God you guys made it! I'm guessing that someone left the oven on or something. Wait, where's Calvin? Oh God! Last time I saw him, he went to the bathroom. I don't know if he's gone out. I saw him, he's over there. What?! Calvin! SOMEONE HELP HIM! I'll call the emergency services! Calvin, are you okay? Calvin? Say something, man! He's not saying anything! Really? I thought I heard him recite the alphabet! Must have been mistaken! Boy, stop arguing! Please talk to me, Calvin! I know I was mad at you, but we can get past it! I'll always forgive you, Calvin! <laughs> Calvin? I'm sorry I forgot our anniversary, Linda. I would've apologized for the Goomburger thing, but that works too. It's alright, Calvin. I'm sure what you organized here was lovely. Thanks, babe. Again, though, I'm sorry. We'll do something next week, okay? And we'll plan this time, together. How does that sound? <laughs> That'll be great. Hey, could I be a part of this? <laughs> Someone throw a rocket in for me.